What a surprise we're talking about Switch 2 again. But I actually feel like there's a very good reason to talk about Switch 2 as we head into this week. Sure, today in the United States and other places, it's daylight savings time. And now everyone recognizes that. So we're falling back an hour and yada, yada. But here's the thing. I got to fall back into old habits and talking about Switch 2 because we actually have a very high likelihood of something tangible happening with Switch 2 this week. And this isn't reliant on rumors. This isn't reliant on leaks. This is just because Nintendo has an investors meeting this week. And the last time we had tangible news about what Nintendo calls the Nintendo Switch successor, we call it Switch 2. The last time we had that was immediately following an investors meeting with a tweet. We all know the tweet. They announced the Direct a month early, and then they told us about the Switch successor getting an announcement this fiscal year. That was all around the investors meeting. Not the last one, the one before it, but it was all around an investors meeting back in May. And I guess technically that was probably the last one. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. That kind of actually sounds right. Look, the point is that this investors meeting is likely to be a really, really big one. And I'll explain why in a moment. But before I do, I want to remind you that we are on the road to 140,000 subscribers. So uh, if we would appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're enjoying this, want to stay up to date on Switch 2 and what the hell is happening in the middle of the night on Tuesday. It's going to be, well, I should say early morning Tuesday. It's going to be quite interesting. So... One reason to expect Nintendo to do something at this investors meeting is the fact that this is the meeting that they generally have bigger announcements at. They literally announced the Zelda movie was in production and who the director was and who, what company they're working with. All of that happened at this investors meeting last year. So the same investors meeting they did last year at this time of year, they gave us that news. So they do still give us some news. Also, if you remember, there was a weird thing in an investors meeting where they announced the release date of the Nintendo 3DS back in the day. Again, something they did during the investors meeting, kind of a weird thing to put in an investors meeting thing, but they did it. So Nintendo does have a history of putting announcements in investors meetings, uh, but it's not as if I'm expecting Nintendo to just drop a reveal trailer of Nintendo Switch 2 on Tuesday. Could they? Sure, it's possible. They could even have an image of the system they want to show to investors and to the public. But I don't think that that is likely to be the case. But I do think that an announcement related to this could be coming because, one, Nintendo told us that there would be a Nintendo Switch successor announcement coming this fiscal year. So Nintendo put the expectations out there. And, two, this is the next investors meeting since that one that Nintendo has a public Q&A. And I say public, I mean open to investor Q&A, meaning Nintendo already knows investors will be asking about the Nintendo Switch successor. So they have to have something prepared ahead of time because they set the expectations for this fiscal year. So then the question is, okay, if that's happening, then what do we actually do about this? What? How do we manage this situation with what Nintendo is going to say? Well, we manage it by just covering it. You manage it by hyping responsibly, and Nintendo manages it by saying, hey, we have a plan. They said they had a plan, and this is probably part of the plan. The next step in the Nintendo Switch successor's journey is here at this investors meeting. So what do I think they could announce here? Well, they could actually tell us when they're going to reveal the system. They could give us a month. They could give us a day. And we say this because, again, last time around, they told us a month ahead of time there would be a Nintendo Direct. They told us the, the Switch successor will have an announcement this fiscal year. So it is perfectly feasible for them to be like, hey, tune in in February for an update on the Nintendo Switch successor. Or they could say, tune in next week or tune in tomorrow. There could be a lot of possibilities here. But the point is, they could very much give us the time frame we've been waiting for for when they plan to reveal the system. There could also be bad news, if you want to think about it. They could say, hey, uh, due to uh, current ongoing situations in the world or current ongoing sales or plans, uh, we will not have an update about the Nintendo Switch successor this fiscal year. That is also a possible update, not one we want to hear. But we can't rule out that delays are a thing and maybe it's been delayed. I doubt it, but you know, we could toss that out there. I do think that Nintendo will say something though. I put this out on Twitter the other day and I said, well, hey, the, uh, the upcoming investors meeting, we know Furukawa will utter the words Nintendo Switch successor. We just don't know what he's going to say before or after those words, but we know he's going to say that. And he's probably going to say that phrase multiple times because he's probably going to answer multiple questions about it. But my thing is, I bet before we even get to the Q&A, there's a statement 
in the actual paperwork. Like when he's doing his initial reveal, he's talking about the financials and this and that and Nintendo's future plans. I bet you there's a statement about the Switch successor already in there. In fact, there could be even an official announcement about the system. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens, but this is the week that we really should expect something because Furukawa is actually going to be taking questions and there will be questions about it. So I don't know what's going to be said. I don't know when it's going to be said outside of it happening Tuesday morning around 2 a.m. Central time, uh, but we're going to have to tune in. I'm going to have to set my alarm. Might be even pull an all-nighter that night because I got to know what the hell is going on uh, because I'm expecting something to be said about the Switch successor and I want to make sure you can hear about it first right here. At Nintendo Prime. So now I know I said this video wasn't about rumors or leaks, but it would behoove me to remind some people of a few things that also indicate something could be happening soon. For starters, we have Dr. Sir Contoto with his cryptic tweet, the Switch 2 cryptic tweet, which in the past has always meant something else within a couple of weeks. And well, next week, or this week, I guess I should say, is about that last time frame that, you know, compared to his prior cryptic tweaks. Although, to, to be fair, he's only a two cryptic tweets in the past so i guess you know that time frame of like two weeks is kind of up in the air it's not as if we know that's like a definitive thing it's only been twice that being said uh that's just something to remember that hey he brought that up maybe we get an announcement that they're that it, maybe we get the name of the system i mean that is possible at the investors meeting uh, they could just give us a name and say, hey, uh, tune in in February for uh, the full reveal of the Nintendo Switch 2. I mean, I, they'll probably stick with Nintendo Switch successor until the actual reveal, but you never know. Uh, they could give us something like that. And then there's all those other uh, rumors that exist out there from people like PH Brazil and others that are very confident in this being like an early release next year. Uh, we have the shipping data where uh, component shipments ramped up in August. Not quite the mass manufacturing levels, but definitely a major ramp up that indicates that they are starting to you know get to the point, if not by now, uh, have begun... Uh, if not by now, have begun mass manufacturing. And if that's the case, well, then that also indicates at least a first half of next year launch. So uh, look, there's just a lot of other rumors and indicators and facts out there that kind of suggest that, you know, Nintendo could say something soon. Now, I, I understand that a lot of people don't feel like the reveal's happening. You know what? Team 2025 keeps stacking up dubs, and I'm not even saying the investors meeting is going to sit there and guarantee that we're actually going to get a reveal right now. But I am just going to say that I do expect there to be something at the investors meeting. It might be something really small. And yes, he could cop out and say any question he gets about the Nintendo Switch successor, he could literally just respond with, we will have more information before the end of the fiscal year, which is basically telling us absolutely nothing. That is an entirely possible response. But Furukawa has just been a different president. Uh, he's commented on rumors in the past when Nintendo doesn't comment on rumors. He told us about a Nintendo Direct a month ahead of time when Nintendo's never done that before. So I just want to throw out there that there are possibilities of something very quickly happening. Not on Monday, but on Tuesday. So we'll see. You guys, let me know what you think Furukawa is going to say down in the comments below. Because right now, I'm just, man, I'm just ready for something. I'm ready just to hear a Nintendo employee say Nintendo Switch successor. That alone would hype me up. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.